Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week, I'm down on the Mississippi Gulf Coast for Cruising the Coast. I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. This is my favorite show. Stretching all the way from Bay St. Louis on the west to Ocean Springs on the east, and all points in between. Thousands of cars. Everybody's having a big time. I think you're going to, too. <laughs> Woody, great Dennis. to see you, man. No matter. <laughs> Welcome to awesome Ocean Springs. Awesome Ocean Springs yeah. and awesome, what, 23rd uh, cruise hey, of the coast? 20, 23rd year. It's hard to believe. Just when so, you think it can't get better, it just seems to. It gets bigger, yeah. certainly, all the time. Well, we just topped out today at 8620, 42 states in Canada. It's amazing to me. Uh, like you say, 42, 43 states, people come from all over for this event. They do. They really do. And that's that's amazing. It's, it's impressive that we get all these folks from all over the country coming here. And you know what? We take care of them. We treat them right. They go back home and tell their friends about it, and they bring their friends back. I know. You know, this started out back in the day. This was a two-day, a weekend event or something like that. Right. Then we kind of went to three days. and five. Well, How yeah. many days? Well, we're eight days now. You're eight we're running days. Sunday to Sunday. You guys keep adding stuff to this event. Yeah, so it's do. like, again, like you, did, you didn't have it packed full enough before. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you can't find uh, something to do here, I, I, I don't know. You've know, you got to wonder we've got, about it. We've got it. We've got it here for you. The shopping, the, you know, the dining, uh, everything, uh, the food. Well, you've had great. a great week. You had a great week of weather. Let's check yeah. out a few cars. What do you okay, say? Let's All do right, it. man, let's go. Well, we got something to see. Yeah, but I, I really dig this car. And actually, it was a, it, I saw it a couple years ago. Here in Ocean Springs, I saw it, it blew me away. I couldn't find you. Yeah. So today, I find the car and I find uh, you. Me. This is like, I, I won the lottery, I think. This is stunning. It's a, it's a 61 bubble top, basically, right? Correct. Yeah. So was it in decent shape? It was in awesome shape. 348, air conditioning, automatic. We took some of the emblems off of it. Yeah. We changed the bumpers to one-piece California bumpers front and back. Yeah. You left the handles on. I like that. Left though. the handles. I, I didn't want to take too much off. Right. Just a little bit of it. I mean, it still looks like a '61. That's, right. that's kind of what I like about it. Now you've also dropped it. Is that a static drop, or are you on air? No, we're on air. Okay. But man, the interior. I just really dig this. So, are these the original seat frames or not? These seat frames came out of a '62. You know, I like the color too. It's kind of cream, kind of buff. We did the separate colors. The outer portion of the yeah. seats are different than the center portions. On you can Real see the subtle, difference. Real subtle though. Then you yeah. went all digital on the dash. Digital on the dash, put a radio CD player all in it. Redid the arms on the uh, clutch and brake pedals. That's uh -huh. all done up. Looks like aluminum arms, but we put them on a machine and had them milled down and, and drilled them and put it all back together. So it's a stock clutch setup. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, well, you know, and of course, this car, the bubble top is the thing that makes this car. That is such a wild rear window. That is original back glass. All the glass in this oh, wow. car is all original except for the front windshield. And it's got a tint to it too, right? Yep, that's how oh. they came with air. Is that your antenna? That's the antenna. Jeez, you did that too, eh? Yep, that's a little custom touch. It's nice. And Don't want a big old chrome piece no, hanging man. out of there and it's, it's in the so gone. slick. You know, I love the Impala three tail lights. Those all look like new lenses. Yep, LEDs. You had the trunk open before and I saw it. You, can you pop it? Because it's yep. just, it, yep. you did a nice job there too. Open this for you. Yeah, man. We made the uh, the hinges for the trunk, or the original hinges, but they're modified. So they're cut up and boxed in, and then all the wires are run through the hinges instead of uh, just having them dangle And carried the interior color through and everything like that? Yeah. Oh, man. Let's uh, close this up and go open the front. OK. Wow, you know, I tell you, with what you've done, it's hard to tell that's a 348. No, that's not a 348. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's an 05 LS6 Well, that uh, would explain Corvette. it, because yeah. I've never seen a 348 that looked like that, man. Yeah, it's a little different. <laughs> All aluminum block. Heads have been reworked. We uh, punched the engine out 10 thousandths. Wow. So you really, I mean, you cleaned up the firewall. You, 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 I mean, you just done everything all around in this car. All oh. the AC lines are all done in stainless. And then we boxed in and covered up all the uh, It's. It's Power just, steering and coolant overflow tank. It's just spectacular. How long did it take you to do this? Um, about three and a half years. Wow. Well, Kevin, I really dig it, man. 61 bubble top with some really fine work all by you and a few friends. Good thank job, you, sir. man. Thanks for bringing it thank out. Thank you. Thank you.
Jason, this is one bad caddy. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I mean, this thing is it's a mile long. It's a 63, right? 62, six window. Was it done already? Cosmetically, it was done. We did some mechanical things to it. So who did the work? Because this paint job is it's very West Coast. Very much West Coast, right. These graphics were actually painted on first. Uh, the car was a patinaed car. And I got oh. it from a group called SOS Customs in Oceanside, California. Uh -huh. And they actually painted the aqua blue, inlaid it all, and then pinstriped it and cleared over it so it all looked like it was one piece. So they saved the artwork. It's nice. And the interior, too, looks really nicely updated, but still without losing right. the stock appearance right. to it. I mean, that's, yeah. a, that's yeah. a stock dash. It, it is a stock dash. It, it does have an audio system in it, but it's all hidden. It has the uh, airlift as well. But again, I mean, your paint on this is just killer. And man, oh, I see the lace work. Yeah, so they, they overlaid a lot of the lace and did it. It's really West Coast. You got the lace, the leaf, the pinstripes. You, you got it all going on. What's the color? Uh, it's an aquamarine PPG Chevrolet color. There's no pearl or nothing in it. Just a really good paint job. The guys did a really good job blocking and sanding it. The car is very straight. Well, yeah, because, um, again, it's a mile yeah, yeah, it's long. It's a mile long. I think this is the largest quarter panel ever produced in a four-door sedan in American history. Is it original chrome or has that been redone? Um, some of the chrome is original, some has been redone. A lot of the interior pieces are original and around uh -huh. the window ledges are. This here has been redone. So uh, you did the trunk too? Yeah, trunk is um, done well. Um, oh, yeah. We've got <laughs> would, a nice stereo say. system. We've got air ride with two air tanks, uh, two compressors, as well as the controller. All this was hand bent to match the original portion of the interior. So they did a good job tying all that in. It's got suede headliners and then uh, suede trunk liners as well. So uh, original jack instructions. So anything that was original to the car, we tried to keep it original and still give it a really good West Coast updated look. Well, I think you did that. You said it's got an original engine. Yep. Let's go look at that. Okay. Wow, <laughs> this carried the color through That's in it. here. Yeah, wow. colors carry through. Have some pinstriping on the air cleaner. It's the original 390. Uh, of course, we did a lot of upgrading to the yeah. electronics. We've got a 175 amp alternator to run all electronics and everything that's going on. Oh man, I just totally dig the 63 Caddy six window with one of the nicest paint jobs I've seen at cruising. Thanks for bringing it out, man. Thank you, I really appreciate it. So Dwayne, this is an interesting car. A 71 Mustang Mach 1. That's cool. You see those every once in a while. They're not all that uncommon. But I, I looked at this color. I'm going, what, what is that? It looks like a grabber color, but it ain't grabber green. Well, grab a line. I didn't even know they made a grabber well, line. Yeah, they made a grabber line, Mach 1s. They made 559 Mach 1s this color. That's it? 71, yeah. And, and is that was that the only year they used lime? As far as I know. Man. I haven't seen another year with a factory. Well, I've never I've never seen it on any car. And then did you have to redo the whole oh, thing? Oh, I redid the whole car. The entire I had thing, a whole right? car. I tore it apart. When I found out it was one one then the car needed the love. Then so. it needs yeah. a lot of love That's at that point. It. Yeah. So. <laughs> These uh, big body Mustangs, what, uh, 71, 2, and 3, right? Yeah. Lee Iacocca called them the pig. Well, they, you them. know, that's just it. You either he love these them. things or right. you hate them. It was about 50-50 back in the day, mm -hmm. but they're really starting to take off now because you kind of look and, you know, you don't see them anymore. You go, you know what? Oh, that's actually know. kind of a cool looking car, you know? Yeah. And then after 73, they went to the Mustang too, which is it yeah. almost fit in the trunk. Exactly, uh, <laughs> exactly. In 71, did they still have the rim blow? Yeah, that's on? the original 71 rim blow wheel. It had reworked. Oh, the clock in here. You never see the clocks working here. This clock works. Wow. Yeah, everything in the car works. Man, it's just amazing, man. It's just, I, I can't believe yeah, the so. condition. And then this honeycomb, is that a, it's like a, is that a plastic or? Yeah, it's plastic. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's factory also. The pop open gas Oh, dig that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Those oh. are expensive too, man. You can't even find them. Yeah. Well, yeah. I believe it. It's, you know, stuff's getting yeah. real hard to find. Yeah. There it is, 351 Cleveland, right? Yeah. M code? M code is a closed chamber heads, high compression motor which is right underneath the boss. Four bow heads. So 71, that was also before they started detuning them. This last is year, last this is the year. last year. For the first real... year of this car, and the last year of the true muscle car. For the for the real deal. Before EPA took over man, with that oh pollution control. You got AC in it too? Factory air conditioning. I updated the compressor, sure, but I have sure. the original in the box. And of course, I added a fan in front. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you cool, live down drive here. The gas, <laughs> and, go, yeah, and you but... drive it at cruising the coast. So well, we drive, my wife and I drive this car at least two, three times a month. Come up here, go to dinner or whatever. Yeah. But I use it. Yeah, well, I ain't gonna sit there and look at them. I can't drive it on a warm. And they're just, they're so much fun to drive, oh, too, right? Oh, man, it's a blast. Man, 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 man. It's a blast. 1971 
grab her lime. Mach, Mach one. one Mustang. Yep. My baby. <laughs> Yo, baby. That's, that is a baby, man. Yeah. Thanks for bringing it out, oh, man. That man, is so that's a cool. You like Thanks, it, man. man. Well, Dave, this is an interesting car. I don't know when I saw the last one. This is a, what, a 70 Polara? Dodge, Dodge Polara? Dodge Polara, correct. Convertible. Convertible. They only made 844 of these in 1970. And I think I've got one of the last remaining ones that are, are on the road. Well, that explains why I haven't seen one for a it long time. Could be. It could be. <laughs> Was this the last year for the Polara? Yes, the nameplate changed to Monaco after oh, okay. this year. But, but, but did the Monaco become basically the same car? Uh, well, so with, with redesign changes, yeah, yeah, but... Yeah. Uh, Probably same platform. Yeah, but same platform. Interesting. Correct. Yeah, you know, this is a, such an interesting car because it's an era that was, you know, pretty big and pretty slab-sided. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, lo it's long. Well, we call it the banana boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very descriptive term for this. So are these the original seat frames? These, these are all original. Wow. Original door. Uh, wow. Side seats, everything's original. That's the original color. Wow. Uh, you can't get this color paint any longer because of it. when they made it in 1970, it was toxic. So it's a, it's a toxic car, basically. Yes, yeah, a not toxic car, yeah. <laughs> so you've played with the dash a little bit, too. Yes, yes, we put a handmade digital dash in. Oh, wow, you mean you did the digital stuff yourself? Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. it looks like it's a fun cruiser. Oh, I've had it on power tour four times. It oh, just wow. cruises down the highway. <laughs> it's like you're driving the living yeah, room, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. With the top down. With the top. It's like you're oh, driving the front porch. If, if, you're, if, if the sun's up, the top's down. <laughs> what I always liked about uh, this car and, and this, this model is really these tail lights. I think they're, they're kind of interesting. Now, is that all one piece? That's all one piece. Wow, that's a bad day. That's a lot of tail. Light. That's a lot Came of tail. Came in a big light. box. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at your engine. All right. This is the original 383 engine that came in the car. And you do drive it? I do drive it. I put 20,000 miles on the car since we resto modded it. I put the chrome valve covers on it just to make it look a little better. So that, on the firewall, I'm looking at the original paint color. Yes, sir. So, man. 1970 Dodge Polaris convertible. I love your car, man. Thank you so much, Dennis. It's a pleasure being here with you. Thanks for bringing her down. Well, Bubba, I dig your car. I actually had to chase you down to, to, to find you, to talk to you about it. This is a 64 Pontiac Catalina, right? Yes, sir. You see the Bonnevilles, but the Catalinas, I think, were more like used up. Right. And, and, and not preserved back in the day. So it's it's amazing to see one like this. And is this a stock color? This is a stock color. It was repainted in 1996. It's uh, fully loaded, uh, air conditioning, power steering, power brakes. Wow. Everything on it's original except for the paint. I love the fact it's got the, you know, the uh, fake convertible top, basically, right. you know, the crease. And I tell you what I dig about the car, though, is it's just the interior, because this looks like the original, or you've done it right back to factory. No, it's it's all original. This Everything is original, original, really? The only thing I've ever do is uh, there was a, a little tear in the seat right here, and I had that re Uh huh. And uh, that's the only thing I've done. Carpet, floor mat, everything. It's all original. You know, that, that floor mat looks like that came from 64, too. Yeah. Wow, man, this thing is so cool. And you know, a two-door hardtop, too, because Catalinas were, I mean, they were ways down. That was a little bit more of a family car. Right. But I always like the taillights on these things. That is a big, long taillight that kind of points the direction that you're turning when right. you got the turn signal uh -huh. on. So have you re-chromed it or anything? Nothing. Man, you must take really Nothing. good care this of it. This just has a few little minor dents in the trim, but uh, everything else is, is all original. Luke Arlington. Luke Arlington, that's where it was ordered. Wow. I still have the original 14-inch wheels, uh, still rims and hubcaps. Uh, what did you put on it for wheels? Those are Riddler, okay. Riddler wheels. Uh -huh. So, 389? It's a 389 with a two-barrel. Let's go look at it. That's a 389, all right. A two-barrel, though, it's kind of interesting. I, I guess they, they did, they spent a lot of money on everything else, but they saved probably $7 going two barrel versus four barrel. Right. But I imagine it just runs like a top. Yeah, it, it just floats down the road. It's like a big old boat, you know? And, yeah. I mean, because uh, they're, they're big cars. The car is called Miss Josie. My aunt's name was Josephine. We nicknamed her Josie. So this was her car, and then that's how we got the name Josie. So your wife is driving Miss Josie. Right, right. Is that a Miss Daisy? It's Miss Josie. Josie. Close it back up, man. I like this car. I love the long hood. I love the, the long 
trunk. I just love how long the car is in general. 64 Pontiac Catalina, 392 barrel and baby blue. <laughs> Thanks. Miss Josie. Yeah, Miss Josie. <laughs> oh man, Cruising the Coast is just an awesome show. I come here every year. Hey, you might want to do that too. Hi.